Hello folks. So, uh, I'm making this video because I've been making some visual effects lately. So I've had a need to do some animation sequences and render them out. And because uh, gen generally I don't normally need to do much rendering. <clears throat> but, uh, but when you're doing VFX, sometimes you need to render out sequences that you can then apply to things, you know, sprites and so forth. Uh, anyways, so I've... <laughs> I've been using Maya 2018, and uh, there's some new challenges. Uh, and I've kind of talked a little bit on some of my YouTube videos about um, how to render in Arnold, uh, because Arnold is the new default renderer. Um, and it's pretty cool, but there is uh, there are issues with with batch rendering um, and rendering basically rendering animation sequences, and uh, and there's more issues that I just discovered. So. Um, Anyways, I just want to kind of cover a couple things because there's these are some issues that I kind of had to do some research. I had to do a little bit of, uh, of Googling and searching through forums to find out why I was having these problems. Uh, and then I found a solution. So now that I found a solution, I'm going to share it with you so that hopefully you don't have to struggle so much um, if you need to render out a sequence. So first off, um, pretty. The cat. All right. So, anyways, um, so sequence. Um, first of all, you can't batch render. Uh, let me just. Oh, let me just show you what I have here. But first of all, this is just something I was working on the other day. Um, and uh, I've created a Maya fluid effects uh, fiery sequence sequence for this. Uh, you know, for my Twitch follows and so forth. Got off the keyboard. Uh, anyways, um. So this is what I've got, and I was trying to render this out so that I could actually use it for my Twitch follows and stuff. Um, anyways, um, now I could render. I could render a still frame pretty easily just by clicking the render button, which is of course right here. Uh, and rendering a still image was never really a problem. Um, and in fact, a lot of the defaults, like I don't even really have to go in and configure too much. Um, a lot of the defaults just work uh, just fine in terms of render settings and so forth. Um, so that's that's handy, you know. I can do that. Um, and my okay, I seems. Um. Anyways, so I I can render out uh, I can render that out pretty pretty easily. One one frame I can render one frame really easy now. In theory, you might say, well, uh, you could just go render one frame, then render the next, render the next, render the next. And yeah, you could do that, but for like a couple hundred frames, that's just mind, -boggle mind bogglingly no. Uh, stupid. Yeah, I don't know. It's just lame. I wouldn't do that. Who would do that? Um, no one wants to do that. So batch rendering, of course, is how you render out a whole series of frames, but batch rendering in Arnold requires a license. Um, an Arnold license, which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me, because you know, Mental Ray, Mental Ray was built in; it worked just fine, it worked great, um, and there was no, there was no extra license required. So it's kind of a shame that Mental Ray has kind of disappeared. Um, but um, so there's a workaround. So so rendering a sequence with Arnold requires a license, unless you do it this way. Um, so the way to do it to uh, render a sequence is there's this little button right here. This uh, it's kind of highlighted green because it's new. Um, it is the the render sequence button? But I'm gonna hit escape real quick. Oops. Looks like it's time for my cat to get fed. Um. Anyways, so I'm not gonna hit that right now. I hit escape to cancel it. Um, because if I do that right now, it's gonna try to render the whole sequence. And uh, that's dangerous. And let me show you why, uh, or explain why, and show you what to do instead. So first of all, let me just go here. Um, so I'm gonna go to the rendering drop down render. So um, so you you pull the drop down to to where it says rendering, and you go to render, and then not batch render. Batch render is the old way of doing it that that would require a Maya li or I'm sorry, a Arnold license. Uh, the new way to do it that avoids that issue is where is it this one right here render sequence 
But if I go to the options, it won't just jump in and start going. Um, and this render sequence dialog pops up. And you can choose, choose what camera you want to render from and stuff like that. Um, there's a few other options here. But um, when I'm ready to click this, it's going to render the whole sequence without, a, without an Arnold license. I don't need an Arnold license to, to render this out, <clears throat> which is good. So, so there is a way to, to uh, avoid that frustration. Uh, however, uh, and you'll notice it says frame 1 to 200. Um, you're going to have to define which frames to render uh, in the render settings. So let me show you that, because there's other things we need to do in the render settings as well. So, so again, if this is the, the render button, right? And the, these buttons up here are also mirrored uh, down here. There's uh, buttons for that here, like, like here's the render settings button here as well. Uh, but so yeah, that, the, the gear, of course, right? So there's the gear, and there's the gear down, down here. So it doesn't really matter which, which way you do it. Just get to the render settings. Um, and these render settings, this is where you have to go to keep things from breaking. Um, and so first of all, you could set a file. If you don't set a name here, it doesn't matter. It'll just use the file name. It's not really an issue. Image format. Now, one thing I did notice, um, I rendered a PNG sequence uh, when I first did this. Uh, the PNG sequence, you know, PNGs have transparency, right? Oh, sweet. Okay, now I'll render that out and I'll get transparency. It didn't work. Um, it rendered, but I didn't get any transparency. And then I read more on the forums, and it turns out Arnold, when Arnold renders a PNG sequence, it doesn't render transparency. So if you want transparency, you're going to go somewhere else. So TIFF, a TIFF would have transparency. EXR would be fine. Um, the Maya should work, but it, it kind of it was weird. I tried to render with the Maya, uh, which is probably IFF. And for some reason, I I don't know if it was just a glitch, but I rendered it. It showed it rendering the whole sequence, but the files never showed up. I don't know what happened with that, uh, but the files never showed up. I couldn't find them, so I had to re-render. Um, anyways, uh, last time I rendered, I rendered EXR, and it worked just fine. So an EXR is kind of like the fancy schmancy um, compositing uh, file format. So, um, anyways, um, so it depends on what you want to do. Now, of course. If you want to render a sequence, especially using this render sequence dialog, there's a couple things that are crucial. One is frame slash animation extension. It defaults to this. It defaults to name single frame. It's just going to render one image. It's, it's not going to render the sequence. So what you have to do is drop this down and do name dot number dot extension. And what that's going to do now, it says frame one to 200. And it's going to say, um, what it's going to do is it's going to give you, for each image in the sequence, it'll do the file name and then zero, you know, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 two, what, and so forth. And then, then the extension, which is, of course, um, in this case, EXR. Um, and the well, frame padding is, you know, this frame padding in here is just how many zeros you want. And this is all kind of basic stuff if you've been familiar with rendering a lot. Um, I swear I'll get to the crucial part soon. But uh, yeah, so you basically, uh, your start frame, end frame. Um, this is defining how long the sequence is going to be. Bam. Okay, cool. Um, renderable cameras, of course. I only ha I didn't bother to put a camera into this, so it's just the perspective camera. Um, okay, so anyways. And then, of course, your, your resolution here is going to define uh, the resolution gate there. But here's the critical part. Now... Those of you that, in, that have been waiting patiently for me to explain how to keep this from crashing. Here it is right here. So we've got the Arnold renderer chosen, right? If you go to, you know, we're in common. If you go to Arnold and then system, the third, third tab over, the system tab. In the system tab, this is the crucial aspect. Um, and it defaults to on. Uh, I turned it off to make it render. Um, and this is the file that I was working with before, but so this right here, auto, auto detect threads. This is critical. Um, this is why, this is why my, my, my render kept crashing around frame 30 or so almost every time it was like sometimes frame 20, sometimes frame 30, but basically, uh, 
this was crashing my render every time I tried to render a sequence with Arnold. Uh, auto detect threads. What that means is, it's just saying, hey, how many, you know, how many threads does your computer have? Use them all. Go ahead, you know, go ahead and just eat up every single CPU cycle that you can to render as fast as possible. That sounds appealing, right? Oh, sweet, my renders will go way faster. Uh, it crashes. It crashes every time. Um, I don't know for everybody's computer. I have an uh, awesome computer. I built this computer not too long ago. It's really powerful. Uh, my CPU, my RAM, my GPU, everything is really top of the line. Very powerful stuff. It crashes every time. It crashes every time around frame 30. Um, and I just, I can't render a sequence. It just dies. So um, I read on a forum that apparently Arnold, the render Arnold specifically will crash if the CPU reaches, like if you look at your task manager, if the CPU hits 100%, crashes, render's done. It's not gonna even try to continue. Um, and when it crashed, I was like streaming and I was, you know, I was streaming and I was watching streams. I was, I was doing all kinds of stuff with my computer at the time uh, and just render crashed and it brought down everything else with it. Like, so every, everything I was doing on, in every software just died. Um, so anyways, point is, it's kind of something to avoid. Um, so my advice, if you are getting, if, it, if you're trying to render a sequence and it's crashing constantly, uh, do this. Uh, go here and where'd it go? Auto detect threads, turn that off. Uh, now, I, my machine in particular, my machine has 12 threads and I tried rendering with eight. I said, you know what? I'll give you eight threads, eight out of 12. It kept my CPU, I was watching the task manager now, now that I read about that, and it kept my CPU around 93, 90, between 93 and 95%, and it never crashed, but, you know, and it spiked a little bit if I was doing something else on the computer, um, but uh, generally, if I'm going to render, I'm, I've, I'm in the habit of saying, okay, computer, render, I'll go play Fortnite. Um, so, point is... Eight threads seems to be doable, um, but uh, the higher you crank the thread count, I think you're increasing the chances that you might hit that peak 100% CPU, and then, you know, Arnold's done. Arnold's going to crash on you, and then you lose all that render time. Uh, okay, so that's it. This is the critical aspect right here. Everything else is just kind of like advice on rendering stuff in Arnold. Um, so, uh, you know, it seems like it was able to render the fluid effects just fine. Um, so I... You know, I did the fluid effects. Um, I'm kind of playing around with rendering sprites right now. Um, and setting up the shaders is a little tricky. I'm trying to toy around with making sure it renders uh, sprites the way that I want them to. And so setting up the materials is kind of an interesting uh, challenge that maybe I'll cover in the next video. But um, yeah, so there it is. If you want to render a sequence for whatever reason, uh, if you've done some animation, in Maya and you want to have a nice render but don't want to pay for an Arnold license to do batch renders even if you do want to pay for an Arnold license apparently it sounds like it just crashes if it hits 100% CPU anyway so probably good advice just to keep it from keep it from reaching 100% CPU no matter what you do um, so there it is uh, if you have any questions let me know I, I just kind of decided on a whim to make this video this morning because uh, because it was something, like I said, I was struggling with this for a couple days. I kept struggling with trying to get it to finish a render without crashing. And uh, so if I can save you that pain, then that's why I made this video. So good luck. Um, if you have any questions or if you have anything to add, please uh, leave a comment or something. Uh, and feel free to join me on Twitch and hang out while I do art. Uh, I'm, I'll be doing more particle stuff, but I'll also be doing, um, uh, you know, three, basically 3D modeling or VFX one of the two, or texturing. So, Anyways, I uh, hope you're all doing well, and uh, good luck with everything.